This past summer, the two of us backpacked through nine different countries in Eastern Europe. We witnessed captivating sceneries, explored countless cities, saw places deeply affected by war, ate delicious food, tasted new wines, made new friends from all around the world, and even dealt with some unforeseen circumstances. Please enjoy Backpacking Europe, presented by Words with Winos. Hi guys, so we just got to Kludge in Romania. It was a long day of driving around. We went to Sibiu. There's no water! There's no water? Okay, okay, there it took a minute. There's, we went to Sibiu, we went to the castle, and now we're here in Kludge. Kludge seems like it's kind of a big city, uh, so it was kind of hard to find parking here, but eventually we did, and we found our Airbnb. It's kind of, it's an okay Airbnb, and... No, it's crap. <laughs> and let me tell you why. When looking through all the pictures and stuff, it looked like such a nice and modern, cool place, and now we're here and it's just like, not really like the pictures at all. It's dingy, everything's like, kind of dirty, and just not at all what I expected. And the area is like, there's nothing here. So, great. Yeah, so we're stuck with this, but at least it's only for one night. Uh, actually, the bedroom's not that bad. We can just hide in here and close the door and pretend the rest of the house doesn't exist. Good morning guys, we are here in Kludge, Romania. We just left our Airbnb and walked over to our rental car and apparently someone has hit it. Someone has hit our rental car. So we contacted the company and they told us to email them what happened. Nothing happened, we just woke up and it was like this. And yeah, we'll see what happens next. We still have to travel around because we still have the car for like four more days. Uh, it wasn't us. We were parked in a, in a safe street and someone just must have hit it last night or something. Yes. So we spoke with the car rental people. They are not being helpful at all because we still have to pay for the damages. They won't let us return the car early either, which is really annoying because yeah. And they said it would be the the only reason the only way they would do it is they would give us our money back in a voucher if we ever want to rent with them again. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> like we would ever want to rent with them like, again? That's gonna happen. <laughs> um, so now we have, they told us we have to go to the police station. So now we're going to a police station in Kludge, Romania, to see. To, I don't know what the point of this is. I mean, this just helps them. Screw them. Like we'll just leave. <laughs> Here is this police station. Kludge, Romania, this box outside an Audi dealership. And now we are translating what happened into uh, Romanian because who knows if they speak English. <sighs> what a day. So we filed a police report at the police station. Uh, it went pretty smoothly, I guess. I mean, like we said before, it's not going to solve anything for anyone. Uh, but now we're gonna go get some food. I mean, our plans have definitely, are definitely super altered now uh, because of this, even though we didn't do shit. Uh, so we're gonna go get some food and then we're gonna go to the salt mines in Romania. Um, we were planning on doing that anyway. We might as well still do it because it's on the way to the place we're going to next. So hopefully we can get a place to eat, find a place to park, and then get to the salt mines. You think the GPS knows where we're going? No. It told us to just go 300 meters that way. This is grass. So now we're in this dirt road here. Well, rocky road. <sighs> so we got to the salt mines. Selena, Selena, Selena Turda. Selena Turda. And we're in the parking lot right now, and there's just tons 
and tons and tons of cars. It's insane. Didn't they say to bring a jacket because it's cold they inside? Did. We brought nothing. We brought nothing. But a lot of people, right? Yeah. Most people have shorts on and stuff. So we'll be fine. Who cares? Yeah, it'll be cold for um, a little bit. We made a discovery. Oh, sorry. Nah, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, we made a discovery that we looked at the bottom of our car, and it doesn't really look like the bumper is damaged. Just yeah, like the we rubbery it was the part. Bumper that was that we would need to be replaced, which is very expensive. But it's just like the the rubber part under the bumper, which is just like a little off. So it doesn't seem like it would be that expensive to fix. So we're gonna try and get some insight on how much it would cost. So yeah. if they try to overcharge us. We can pull out some facts. Yeah. There's mini golf and ping pong and a Ferris wheel and a salt mine. I don't know so much what's do. going on. It's really weird. Touch the ice. It's cold. It's salty. Lick the ice. So we drove about three hours, two yeah. and a half hours from the salt mines. Even though it was supposed to be an hour and a half drive. To our next town, which is Tur Turres Targa. Tar Targa. Targa Mores. Oh I don't know why we're here. Um, the salt mines were pretty, were, they were interesting, but it's just one of those big touristy things where there's just tons and tons of people. And there were actually a lot of kids there, which yeah. was annoying. A lot of kids because it's like an amusement park too, yeah. but it was interesting looking, but it's okay. Um, so now we get to our Airbnb where we plan to, we have a full day work of teaching tomorrow and we get inside on our, our on our computers and our Airbnb guy goes, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. There's just one small problem. The internet's not working. Like that's the biggest problem you can That give we us. can have right now. Yeah. Like, and he was just like, yeah, it's just not working. Like it just says incorrect password, even though it's the correct password. And we tried it and it didn't work for us either. So he said that the other guy, internet guy is either coming today, probably not since it's almost 8 p.m. or tomorrow, which who knows when he'll come tomorrow. So hopefully we have enough like internet service on our phones to use and it's fast enough because we don't want to get in trouble with our jobs. Yeah, so just so much bad luck so in two days. I mean, luck. really, I don't know how to turn it around. We've got to go to like some voodoo doctor or something, but this is bad. But now we're going to go get some food. Yeah. Very good job, Miles. Perfect. All right. Let's go. Hi, guys. So we have just left Therese Merges. No. Targu Merges. We have just left Targu Merez. Still probably not pronounced correctly, yeah, but yeah. You know, that's our best try. Um, so for the past two days, we have done nothing but worked. We have worked nine to five, just working at VIP Kid, teaching and really doing nothing else at all. Um, but we're gone. We're happy to finally you know, get out and have a little freedom. It, it definitely felt a little locked up in there. Not very good lighting and it was really hot in there. So it's nice to get out and be in the car again, the broken car. Uh, the reason why we just suffered for the last two days. So now we're actually going to a city that we originally had planned um, to visit on this trip. We were kind of going to skip it, but it's on the way to the neck to the city we're sleeping at tonight. So it's called Sayasora. Sayasora. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, <laughs> and we're just going to explore. I mean, it's already 4:30, so it's kind of late. So we're going to explore for you know maybe an hour or so and maybe get some dinner, maybe not. Um, but it's on the way, so might as well stop there. And then after that, we're going to a different city. I, I'm not too sure of the name, but it's kind of in the middle of nowhere to just spend the night and then work again tomorrow so we can get more hours in and, and make more money for the car. And then we're leaving Romania. So we'll, we'll, we should be in the city that we're going to see a Masora in the next like 45 minutes or so. So hopefully that'll be fun. So we made it to Sayasara. Sayasara, and now we have to climb these steps for some reason. <laughs> I don't even know where we're going. I have no idea. We didn't even look it up, but this is where everyone is, so. 
We'll see where we end up. Made it to the top of the mountain here. And right from the beginning, you got some nice colorful houses. Actually, that's I think that's what's kind of known for is colorful houses. I have no idea. Yeah. We didn't look too into this at all because we didn't even plan on coming here after the whole until car deal. Yeah. No, until after this. Oh, yeah. Until like an hour ago. Yeah. Um, and yeah, when you just Google it, it's, you, you see all these colorful houses. So it's definitely what it's known for because it's a touristy town and I would imagine people come for the colorful houses. Transylvania are almost like in a movie like Dracula. I thought we are in the, Transylvania. Well, well, I mean, yeah, literally we are, so <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, but I'm loving it. Like everywhere we're just walking around these little old streets with these colorful buildings and and just music playing everywhere. And it sounds like it's from Dracula or something. Hope you can hear it right now. It's really cool. Dun, 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 dun! Epic music. It is now about 6.30 a.m. We woke up at 5.30 and we are leaving Romania. It's gonna be a really long day. We have to we have to drive this car about three hours to the airport in Bucharest and it's a little smashed up so we don't know how much they're gonna charge us. Um, we'll see when we get there so a little nervous about that. Then our flight isn't until 3 p.m. and we have to return the car by 10 a.m. We're probably gonna get there a little earlier than that. Um, and then and then we'll go back to Prague. So that's pretty much the end of our trip. Um, but there are a few final things that we are worried about, which is the car. Also our whole visa situation because we have two different visas, one with an old uh, expired visa from Prague, even though we have like 10 days left in Prague. Um, and you know, it's just difficult to explain it to officers sometimes. Uh, immigration officers, so we have to we deal have with all two, that. We have two passports each. We have an old one and a new one. Yeah, I already said that. Ah, sorry. Uh -huh. I'm tired. And, and that's it. So hopefully everything goes kind of smoothly now. We returned the car and it honestly went a little bit easier and better than we thought it was going to. Um, they just looked over the car for literally two minutes and they pointed out obviously the part where I was a little damaged and they were like, you know about this. We're like, yeah, we already told you about it. Showed them a police report, did everything right. And they were like, okay, so we're gonna take your deposit, which they already did pretty much. It was 170 US dollars or 150 euros pretty brutal and then they were like okay well we're not sure if we're gonna charge you guys more and we'll just email you to let you know what we decide I'm like oh okay so you'll just make up a number and then charge me anyway so that's what's gonna happen so um, hopefully I don't get an email that says that they're gonna charge me more and now we have a long time until our flight like what six hours mm -hmm. six hours until our flight so we're, we're drinking some coffee but we probably can't do that for six hours so what we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat at some point too, obviously. So coffee first, maybe take a poop, and then eat, and then go. 